this is on Breen with secondsout.com. I'm here with Hannah Rankin, newly crowned IBO Super Welterweight Champion of the World. How has the support been in Scotland and what was the reception like once you won your title? Uh, the support was amazing in Scotland. Massive shout out to the whole country because like everybody like turned up to watch and I think had over 20,000 views on TV. So, you know, absolutely buzzing and I can't say like how happy I was to be supported so well. So yeah, it was amazing, really good. Was this your first televised fight? Um, nope, it was my third televised fight. Um, the ones before, I fought in Norway on a Cecilia Brackass on the card. And then I also fought uh, Carissa Shields over in the States and that was on Sky Sports and DAZN as well. So who, who are your inspirations these days um, in training and who do you look, look up towards, who do you want to emulate? Oh, um, I love Cecilia Brackhouse actually. I've been in a training camp with her before and I, you know, she's done so much for the sport and unified the division, uh, that's really impressive. Um, I definitely think that, you know, Katie Taylor's doing some amazing stuff for us girls, like over in this sort of area of the world. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots of people out there and loads of people that I admire little things from all of them, you know? So what does training camp consist of for you and how long does it normally last? Well, for my world title fight, it was a 10 week camp and you tend to train six days of a week, twice a day. It mixes up with, uh, I do sprints at the altitude chamber here in London. Uh, the sparring and obviously I've got my pads with Noel and generally sort of s &C training with Roman. But uh, for this camp I went over to New York for sparring, so I was sparring Alicia Napoleon and Callie Reese. I was also over in Poland with Eva Brodnecker who's the um, WBO uh, world champion there. So I had a good mixture of sparring and I always like to get a lot of rounds in and get ready to go. So yeah, no, it was good. It's been known that even male boxers also have a full-time job alongside their boxing career. Um, is this the same for you or have you managed to do this full-time? <laughs> I think every female athlete would like to say they could do it full-time, but unfortunately I have to have another job, but it's something that I love. Um, I'm a professional classical musician, so I play with orchestras in and around London. I have a wind quintet, we do concerts in care homes and in schools, um, and I teach music to kids in schools as well. So. Yeah, it's, it's my first love and it's something that I think I'll always do, so it keeps me happy. <laughs> Are there any overlaps with music and boxing? Is there anything that helps, like one, something, doing something with one helps with the other? Oh yeah, definitely. Like actually boxing really helped my performance nerves. Um, when I started, did my first white collar fight actually, once I came out of that, playing some Mozart on stage suddenly it became so much less stressful. Um, and also the, the kind of dedication to practice and the sort of, you know, you have to practice a lot of things and it takes a lot of time and effort. So, you know, that sort of things, they, they, they do overlap, even though people think I'm mad, the two things don't go together, but yeah. And finally, what are your plans for the future? Um, so hopefully in uh, November, I've got a defense of my world title, which should be exciting. I think it's going to be a Malta, hopefully shown on TV so you can all watch it. Um, and then next year, I'm looking to unify some of the divisions. So I'd like to go after another world title. And uh, yeah, that's the goal, you know. Thank you and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you.